Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Harsh and I'm a business development manager at Clo India office. And thank you so much for joining us today. In this session, we have with us Helen here. Helen is the global design and communication heads at ZXY International. Let me quickly take you through ZXY. ZXY is a global apparel buying and sourcing company with over 40 years of experience in the textile industry with innovation and production hubs in Bangladesh, Turkey, India, Pakistan, and Egypt, and also a CLO adopter. In this presentation, she'll tell us about how they have been building a 3D collaborative fashion ecosystem as a buying house and how CLO has been supporting their business and challenges with respect to lead times, effective communication, waste reduction, and transparency. So over to you, Helen. We are extremely happy to have you here. Thanks, Harsh. Thank you for giving us the time. Really appreciate being here. Um, as I said, yes, I'm Helen. I look after the design and communication teams here at ZXY. We are a global apparel sourcing business. Um, and yes, an adopter of uh, 3D CLO. So today I'm just gonna give you a quick overview of some of the benefits we found as a business um, and how we've been working with it. Um, I'd say we've, we're, we've had CLO 3D design in the business for around six years. I would say that the volume and the acceleration of that using that software has happened in the last two and a half years, um, especially around the pandemic. Um, it makes sense in terms of the challenges that, that our industry has hit in terms of the non-travel and the lockdowns around regional and global areas. So in terms of the four buckets, the four benefits that we're seeing as a business, uh, speed and efficiency is pretty much coming number one in terms of you know when the pandemic hit and we were struggling to visit our customers or go and see our inspiration or shop or research. Um, the fact that we can still keep doing what we do in terms of producing garments, producing protos, making design, presentations, putting together collections, but via 3D was paramount for us. Um, we kept giving our customers new information and new innovation and new ideas, and we're able to keep that flow of design uh, proposals coming through. Again, communication, it kind of falls onto the back of efficiency. Uh, we speak around 10 or 12 languages within our business. So communication is always key, understanding what each of the teams are doing and how we're working, plus the subtle handwriting and requirements from the customers. Um, again, it's really easy for us to show a 3D sample and make real time changes to that sample so that we get the right amends and the look and feel that the customers are needing uh, straight away. You know, digital possibilities, again, this has opened up a completely new spectrum of possibilities for us. Um, you know, animation, uh, VR, AR, um, working with, you know, digital showrooms, um, the, the list of what we can do now is endless. Um, and it's, you know, it's really exciting for the teams to be involved, to be able to investigate and kind of research and show new ways of showing their products. So again, it's kind of reignited that creative fire within the team. And then last but definitely not least, um, we have quite ambitious targets within our business to reduce uh, sampling, wastage, uh, overall carbon footprint and energy usage. You know, 3D alone reduces our design output of proto, uh, proto samples uh, drastically. I mean, we, within the last year, we have cut 35% of our sampling usage within the business, so globally. Um, which is quite some going really, you know, in terms of we now have customers adopting, uh, working with 3D garments and protos for selling from SMS uh, level, which again, takes a huge amount of uh, sort of sampling and yardage requirement out of the business. So again, another really uh, strong benefit for us as a business. So as I was saying, the digital benefits of working um, have really shone through in terms of um, for us from CLO, this perspective of what's possible. As I was saying earlier, you know, we can reduce our wastage, we can reduce our overall sampling. We know that it improves our speed. We can be super quick on giving design proposals, especially when there's a print requirement. So if it's, for example, the same garment, but in a different colorway or a different print, different AOPs, again, that replication, that duplication element is super quick and allows the, the buyers to have full access, full understanding of what those garments will look like. It improves the first time correct sample. You know, we are working from correct body fit, correct fabric, correct color from the very first design proto. So in theory, if that garment was approved by the buyer, it's actually technically production ready at that point. 
which jumps several hundred steps from the traditional way of working. Okay, so rather than me talk through all the benefits of 3D, it might be better to show you visibly. So uh, we've put a short video together to show you how we're working with 3D. Um, so yeah, we can play this now. So another benefit is the amazing fabric uh, draping and um, you know capabilities of Clo. You know the fact that you can scan, you can work with the Clo team to do high level scanning, and produce fabric that's as good as physical within real uh, visualization. Really helps the buyers to understand the product and how the garment will look in actuality. So in terms of the reality of 3D prototyping, I'd say when we first started working with it, a lot of our customers were maybe a little bit, maybe nervous to jump into 3D. You know, how realistic is it? How do I work with it? How do my teams work with it? Um, from our perspective, it's the same design process, just streamlined. And there's a lot of really good opportunities to shorten that lead time, become more reactive. So for us, in terms of, you know, the garments look realistic, they allow us to show um, very broad collections and new innovation ideas without the heavy sampling behind it. Um, and again, it's really sort of created a creative group of people within our team um, who are really enjoying using the software and getting a lot out of it. And we're seeing the benefits coming back to us from customers. So for us, extremely, extremely useful and very valuable tool within the business. Okay, so that will give you an overview of how we're using it. So I'll hand back to Harsh. Thank you. Thank you so much, Helen. It was an amazing presentation. Glad to see how versatile your workflow has been with Clo. Now I would like to ask a few questions based on your presentation and 3D journey. So uh, coming to our first question, what was the driving force to adopt 3D? I think as a business, we are very design focused and, you know, Clo in its essence is design focused. It's very intuitive from a designer's perspective. So it was always going to be on the horizon for us about how to, when the software was available and we started originally talking to Clo, the idea that the designers could show the 3D work, uh, show their ideas in real time um, was obviously a no-brainer to us. Um, but the driving force for us is definitely, you know, the innovation and the speed it allows us to work at. So I've said 
I think I said in my presentation, when we first started working with Clove, people were a little bit nervous of the technology, I mean, from a customer perspective. So they were always open to seeing that we used it, but didn't quite know how it fitted in with their um, process and their workflow. Um, obviously, as the pandemic hit and things became more difficult to do in physical form, 3D was then the next obvious solution. Okay. Coming to our, my next question now. So what are the product categories that you work in 3D, work on in 3D? Do you have any plans uh, to expand to more categories? Ah, great question. Um, we're a multi-category uh, apparel uh, partner. So I haven't found a product that Clo can't do yet. Um, you know, from footwear to knitwear to flat knits, you know, heavy cable, embellished print, um, all different types of trims usage, you know, buttons, zips, poppers, snaps, you name it. Um, I, I regularly try and challenge the team to come up with something that they, you know, can struggle with, but Clo just keeps answering all the questions they're asking. So at the moment we use it for most categories, I would say mainly for our uh, jersey wear categories. So the hoodies, the sweats, the t-shirts, um, we're doing a lot of washed garments as well. So the end use of how Clo can allow us to show different washing techniques uh, without the heavy washing usage behind the sampling um, is excellent. So yeah, I'm, I'm yet to find something <laughs> that we can't do. That's great to hear. Now coming to my next question, uh, Helen, when compared to real versus 3D, a lot of people initially think it's not possible. So how do you think they should start their journey with Clo or with 3D? As you might have come across your vendors as well, as you mentioned, how did you take, tackle that? So I admit I was one of these people. So I've worked in the industry for over 20 years and I have only been only known how to work with physical garments. You know, you touch, you feel, you understand. Um, so yes, I was one of the critics and one of the skeptics. Um, when you see how you can, when the, if you are, if I'm sitting with a correct fabric header in my hand and the garment is correct color pantone and it's fitted on my size spec and the garment is moving and show me how it would fit on one of my customers it's so clear how that garment would look in physicality that the 3d then becomes my sample you know we've some of our long-term partners are now selling from 3d within their sms catalog so the fact now that the the industry is slowly moving towards that is fantastic and my advice is how to start working with it is to look at the barriers you've got first so is it volume of requirement or is it you know you can't travel to see your customers or you need to see real-time examples so that people can do amends in person like what are the barriers because clo usually has a solution for it and that's when things start to make more sense Okay, that's great to hear. So uh, I think I have a complimentary question uh, to my the last question here. Uh, how would you like to gauge Clo in terms of ROI for new adopters or for newcomers who are adopting 3D? Um, in terms of the ROI, um, it's a really interesting question. Um, we know that an investment within Clo was a cons as we made a significant investment within Clo within our business, but it was the right decision for us because it kept us moving in really tough times. Um, one of the main ROIs for us was be able to deliver design proposals consistently through a two year period of lockdown, various lockdowns within our customers areas or where our head offices were. Um, it kept us moving. It keeps us always looking for the sort of the newest innovation and how we how we propose things. It's changed the way we present garments to customers. So fundamentally across the business, that's now changed. Um, and it's allowing us a lot of flexibility in how we work. So the ROI for us is 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 significant, and we are could, we are continually seeing benefits the more we delve into it. Here's my last question to you, Helen. So, what is your future roadmap with Clo? Oh, the possibilities are endless. <laughs> I've got a very energetic young uh, design team, about thirty five people across the globe, and they're all knocking on my door with very very good ideas of what we could do with 3d design you know as the world moves into furthermore into virtual digital technology you know you've got the metaverse you've got ai you've got uh, vr everything 
Um, so for us, we're going to continue evolving how we do our design presentations. We are going to continue how we do our production fit uh, via 3D. So making sure that production comments and uh, fits approvals are done uh, digitally and in real time. Um, but yeah, watch this space. I mean, I'm hoping this time next year we will have moved on again. The software keeps moving. The intelligence that Clo provides us keeps moving on. So yeah, the, the possibilities are endless. Okay, I think that's all the questions I had. So once again, thank you so much for joining in and sharing your insights. I'm sure that the audience enjoyed it too. Stay tuned for more exciting sessions and workshop. Keep well and safe. Thank you. Thank you for joining today.